The final category is supportive housing, and there are two winners. The first winner is the Men's Shelter of Charlotte. The renovation of a shelter for men experiencing homelessness in Charlotte has resulted in a new safe environment that both preserves dignity and offers hope for its vulnerable residents. The Men's Shelter of Charlotte's North Tryon Street Shelter began its life in 1987 after retrofitting a former storage warehouse for plumbing equipment that dated back to 1953. While it successfully served thousands of men over the years, it was clear in 2018 that the 64-year-old structure needed significant rehabilitation. The roof, electrical systems, and piping were all failing, and the air quality was worsening due to deteriorating ductwork. Perhaps worse was the perception of the shelter by those it was supposed to serve. A 2018 point-in-time survey revealed that nearly a quarter of unsheltered individuals reported not coming to the shelter because they viewed it as unsafe. An earlier community needs assessment found that homeless LGBTQ youth did not believe the shelter was a safe option. A finding that shelter staff attributed to the lack of privacy in showers and sleeping dorms. Cleanliness was also pinpointed as a problem due to the aged interior and hardened exterior. The existing structure was overhauled and after four and a half months, reopened with improved functionality that provides the stability and hope needed to move men quickly into stable, permanent housing. In addition to the critical repairs to make the building safer, the renovation significantly improved community areas. More and larger windows and new LED fixtures maximize light, while higher ceilings add space and warmth. Outdoor seating with trees and shrubs, new lighting and architectural touches, both inside and out, minimize the institutional feeling of the building. A revamped kitchen with new equipment, pipework, and better lighting makes it easier for volunteers to prepare meals, while the dining room has been transformed into a multi-use space where in addition to meals being served, staff meetings are held, and in severe weather, mattresses are added to increase capacity. A larger computer area known as the Shelter's Housing and Employee Resource Center has new task lighting, tabletops, and chairs enhance guests' productivity as they search for jobs and housing but it is the changes to the private areas that mean most to the shelter guests. Individual showers and bedroom pods with walls, a locker, underbed storage, a reading light, and power outlet provide privacy that helps guests retain their dignity in the face of difficult circumstances. So the Tryon shelter was in total disrepair when I came here three years ago. Um, I like to say <clears throat> In the old shelter, it was like it reminded people that they'd hit rock bottom. And the shelter that exists here today, it's the type of place where people believe they're on their way up, right? This is a place where you can restart your life. You might be in that exact same spot on your continuum, but the architecture here really makes a difference in how you feel about your surroundings. So when I say we were in disrepair, like our roof was at, like on its last leg. Our pipes were starting to disintegrate. Our ductwork was made of um, duckboard, not even metal. And so the renovation had to redo all of that. Um, but that's not what you see when you walk in, right? All of that's, you know, in the ceiling and underground. What you see when you walk in is really a place of dignity. Um, it's also highly functional, and so we have great visibility. That was a big part of the design, so there's high visibility, so guests, staff, and volunteers could all have that safety of visibility. Um, everything uh, can be pressure washed and is easy to clean and is durable. You know, we'll serve over 2,000 people in a given year, and so we have to be a durable place. Um, but it also has this just element of design that really I think speaks the word hope into our services. Since 2011, the men's shelter on Tryon Road has offered housing services, placing more than 1,000 men in permanent housing. More recently, 33 shelter guests secured housing through the Transitions to Community Living Voucher, which provides rent assistance to help people with behavioral health disabilities live in the community of their choice. The voucher makes up the housing portion of the Transitions to Community Living Initiative, a partnership between the NC Department of Health and Human Services and the state's network of managed care organizations. Uh, most people know intuitively what shelter services are, so the very big thing that's core to the shelter is its basic services, a food and bed and a uh, place to be and all of that kind of stuff. But the other piece of our shelter is we really take seriously how do we get people out of the shelter. So our staff really focus on two things, and one is income, which a lot of that is employment 
employment and the other is housing because those two things you got to have either or or both to afford housing it's either the right income to afford housing or finding the right housing that's affordable for that person so a lot of our efforts are on not only the shelter but the income and the housing and then we have a number of partnerships at the shelter to assist with other things that tend to be happening with folks who are coming to our shelter, whether that's substance use, mental illness, physical disabilities. So we try to wrap that around uh, so that we can get people the, the help that they need. In May 2019, the Men's Shelter of Charlotte merged with the Urban Ministry Center to better address homelessness with a unified voice and combined resources. This, coupled with a more hopeful space, has had a tremendous impact on the shelter's guests. I wanted to make a change, and um, I had a friend that came here a few years back, and uh, he did pretty good, and he kind of talked me into it. And I came up here, and sure enough, uh, doing pretty good. I started to work not long after I got a bed here, and um, I worked third shift, so most of the time I'd be at work at night and sleep through the day, but I mean, you know, um, for staff and the treatment of you know the guys that's here i mean i think it's awesome well i was able to move into a home uh a nice house um you know i just uh you know after you've been to a shelter you know amongst other people you you know you get to experience different you know personalities and stuff and uh, that's helped me to uh you know have a decent outlook on my life and uh what i want to do and which way i want to go well i was kind of on my way back up to Pennsylvania, which is where I'm originally from, and but I was in Fort Myers, Florida, and I came up from there, but I was using Greyhound, and I didn't have enough money to get all the way up, and I basically got stuck here, and then it just kind of went from there. And then I just moved out uh, July last year, and then that's when I had moved into a house. And uh, like this is little my first time uh, back since the renovation. That's why I got the tour when I first came here. And there's been major improvements. And so uh, I would say that there definitely is a lot of uh, the same and even actually more services as far as like there are people that will help find jobs and they have housing specialists that help guys get into housing. They have like counseling available and, and everything like that, so yeah. The renovation of the North Tryon Street Shelter received funding from the North Carolina Housing Trust Fund and the City of Charlotte, as well as from individual and organizational donors. Receiving plaques are the Urban Ministry Center, Men's Shelter of Charlotte, and the City of Charlotte.